Hi everyone, I normally don't do a breakfast scope, but I thought since I had my breakfast already made, hi Yvette, and hi Erlene, I thought I'd show you a little bit of what my breakfast is. I say you're supposed to have a big breakfast, so I hope I've got High River and those coming in. Welcome. And I would show you, hi, good to see you. I'll show you my breakfast. And uh, hi Carrie, good to see you too. Welcome to everybody coming in. Um, good morning, good morning. I just thought I'd, I would show you what I'm having for breakfast this morning because they say you're supposed to have a big breakfast. So I'm hoping mine will be big enough. So, um, hi Barbara, good to see you. I'll turn my camera around and I will let you, let you see what I'm having for breakfast. There is my breakfast. I'm gonna have some oranges. I cut up an orange. I got some pears. I took some blueberries out of the freezer. And I'm also having a bowl of organic cereal with um, organic almond milk. So, oh my god, organic cereal. Wow, six boxes. Wow, Arlene, that's a lot. Hi, Philip. This is my breakfast I'm having this morning. As you can see, I'm having a, a bowl of organic cereal with almond milk. And I'm also having some fruits this morning. Blueberries, some pears, and some oranges. Oh, good morning. You know, this is the kind of breakfast we should have. A good, healthy breakfast to get us get our day started. It is. It is, Yvette. It's, it's something we should all have to get our day, day started. Because they say the breakfast should be the biggest meal of the day. Well, I don't normally eat a lot big breakfast, but I thought, well, I'll eat my cereal this morning, which is organic, and there's almond milk in it, and then put my fruits in it, too. Um, welcome to your very first day pay of Periscope. Oh, you're having a smoothie? I thought about having a smoothie, but I decided I was going to fix my, my fruits and have my cereal instead, because we all need to... Well, good morning, Dolores. Welcome. Um, this is my breakfast with my cereal and my um, my fruits because I thought that'd make a very good breakfast. Like I said, it's organic cereal. It's got almond milk in it, and I ran out of the uh, vanilla almond milk, so then I put some more what I had of organic in it. Um, yeah, it's almost like a fruit salad. You're right. I took some blueberries out of the freezer because I didn't have uh, fresh ones, so I just took a handful out of the freezer, and I already had the fresh fresh uh, pears. These are. These pears here are, are, are sweet pears I had bought it at uh, Walmart. They are very, very good, and I have the oranges. Um, oh, yeah, you know we need to get back to a healthy breakfast and everything and, and eat better than what we've been eating, you know. We don't eat all that junk for breakfast, you know. Like I said, I don't normally eat this big a breakfast, but I thought, well, I better start because if I forget to eat breakfast at all, then I'll down just eat some toast or something. Uh, and I, I, and I want to eat more than just... Uh, just just toast because toast is you know toast is not that much for breakfast um oh yeah right right chickpeas yeah yeah i've had chickpeas i used chickpeas for hummus so um and the thing of it is we also need to get back to a healthy healthy diet it's not impossible it's not hard to do uh yeah pears are really good you know they're they're in season now and and uh no i I haven't, River. I, I probably should, but, you know, I don't eat that much anyway. And since I'm, I'm on plant-based stuff, I just don't, uh, I don't go, go that route anymore. I just, you know, I, I just uh, eat what I need to eat to uh, live, you know. I don't live to eat. I eat to live. So I'm eating all the healthy stuff. But, you know, I'm very, very happy that the Lord impressed upon me. And, of course, Stacy did and Philip did about eating up, eating up the healthy healthy foods, the plant-based, because everything I'm eating here is all good for me. That's organic. The cereal is organic, the fruits are fresh, and, and of course the blueberries are frozen, but it's all good foods. It's foods that we need to get back to eating. Because when we get to heaven, that's all we're going to be eating. We're going to be eating the fruits and veggies of the garden. We're going to have our own garden. It does, doesn't it? It is good, Dolores. I mean, fruits are always good for breakfast, and so is the cereal. And normally I just have a bowl of cereal, you know, but I thought, well, I'll have fruits with it this morning, too. And the cereal I bought was organic. It's honey nut, honey nut O's, but they are organic. And I bought them at Walmart, you know. So it's it's best to go organic if you can. You know, I know it's not feasible for everybody because you know organic is a lot more expensive. But if you can go that route, um, it's the best thing to do because you you'll you'll feel better in the long run. You know. Um, yeah, yeah, it probably is, River, but, you know, sometimes I eat like a bird, don't eat as much either. But, you know, I found I'm losing weight just by what I am eating. So, 
That's why I do that. I, I'm, I'm not eating as much, and I'm losing weight on, on eating just healthy foods. Um, yeah, yes, that's true. The foods that, the foods that, we, that they, they have in the stores now are so full of chemicals, they're not good for us. They're not fit to eat. You know, you don't want to put chemicals into your body. Like I said, if you can't pronounce it, don't put it in your body because it's not going to get, it's not healthy. So I just wanted to take a little time, a little, just a short periscope to show you exactly what I've had for breakfast. That it's not impossible to get back to living the way we're supposed to live. We want to be healthy for God. That's exactly what I want to do. We want to be healthy for Him. We don't want to uh, injure our bodies by putting things into it because after all, our bodies are the temple of God. He said if we destroy our bodies, He's going to destroy us. So we need to keep our temple pure, pure for Him. After all, it's really not our body, it's His. It belongs to God. Um, oh, good, good, good. To, that's great, Erlene. I'm glad. You know, He'll find He'll feel a lot better too. And that's the, that's the thing. We'll all feel a lot better when you start getting back to eating eating the plant-based foods. And I'm doing this because I need to. I've been I've been eating wrong this whole this whole time, and coming here on Periscope and watching Philip and, and seeing the some of the scopes that he's given and Stacy given on health and what things are good for you and what are not. I decided I better start going that route because I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> um, you know, I'm going to be 70 in January. And I want to be pure for God. You know, I don't want to die prematurely. So that's why I'm starting to eat better now than I ever have before. Because we all need to get back to eating healthy. So if whatever, you know, you can have for breakfast. You know, I was going to have a smoothie and some fruits, but I thought, well, the cereal and fruits are just as good too. Uh, yeah, we all do. We all have to start eating better. It's, it's, it's not hard. You just have to tell yourself you can do it. You know, and... and just start doing it. Once you start doing it, it's going to be something that's going to be a routine that you're going to want to continue to do. That's what I'm finding. I've started this routine of plant-based, and I just keep going and going and going. I found this much better for me. I'm healthier. I'm feeling better. My sleeping patterns are getting a lot better, although sometimes I, I don't sleep as well if I'm worried about something, but the Lord's taking care of that too. Uh, yes, it does. It enlightens the mind. It makes a sharp, makes your mind sharper. It gets you through the day, and that's what we all need. We need to get through, through the day with a sharp mind, because we we want to be sharp for Jesus too. Be able to get this message out to other people. Um, oh, when you got, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, Erlene. But you just have to, you just keep eating good. And the thing of it is, you'll impress upon him enough that that's the way he should eat, and he'll eventually maybe go that way. You can't, you know. That's that's the thing. Just you, you have to pray about it, you know. And so ever since my daughter-in-law had stage three cancer back in 2012, she has not eaten any more meat. She's she's um, living um, eating the plant-based diet and, and eating a lot better. You know, her hair never has grown back like it should. But she decided that the meat kills, so that's why she wasn't going to be on the meat anymore. So, um, and that's the thing. I want I want us all to start living healthy and being well, like Stacy says, get strong. Because if we're not strong, we're not going to make it through the time of trouble. We need to be strong through the time of trouble. So, but I think I'm going to take some time and eat this breakfast before it gets too late here, because it's almost it's about eight o'clock. Um, well, good good morning, Lisa. I'm just showing my breakfast that I that I I fixed for myself this morning. Frozen blueberries fresh pears, fresh oranges, and a bowl of organic cereal with um, some organic almond milk and the rest is regular almond milk. Good morning, good to see you. I usually don't have this big of a breakfast, but I thought, well, I'll fix a bigger one this morning because I'm really hungry. Oh, yeah, I just had one crawling on my iPhone. <laughs> oh, thank you for this. Thank you for the uh, um, super hearts. That's wonderful. Yeah, I'm, I don't have any bugs crawling on the counter right now, but I'm very careful that yeah, no soggy cereal. That's well, it's not soggy. It's it's fine. I, I, I like plenty of milk in mine, and I just drink the rest of it. So, um, I don't like I don't like my cereal real crunchy either. So, but anyway, I enjoy I enjoy eating a good good hearty breakfast. And I thought, well, they say you're supposed to eat like a king for breakfast. Well, I hope I am going to eat like a king this morning with the cereal. And oh, you're so welcome. And I'm going to sit down a little bit and eat this. But I want everybody to see what kind of breakfast I'm having this morning because. This is the kind of breakfast we should all eat every day. Oh, thank you, thank you. You know, it's the Lord. It's the Lord that's been impressing upon me. Um, 
Yes, I am. I'm eating all good stuff. We need to. We all need to get. Uh, oh, yes, getting. Yeah, I would be getting close because you're three hours ahead of me. But, but yeah, it's a lot of good stuff. But it's going. To, it's eight o'clock in the morning here, so I want to get my breakfast down. But I thank you all for coming in. The ones that are supporting me now, the live viewers and the replay viewers, will be coming in later to watch this replay. I hope you you um, enjoy watching this Periscope and that you get some benefit from it because we all need to live healthy and be well, as Stacy says. So I think I'm going to go ahead and eat this breakfast now. But thank you all for coming in. Have a great and marvelous day. Take care. God bless and bye-bye.